Right, so in this video, we are going to discuss what the clefs are. And these are super duper important for piano. We are going to be seeing these a lot. Okay, we use them all the time. So there are two special clefs that we need to learn. The first one is called the treble clef. Treble, and I call it the terrible clef. And you'll see later why, because I teach you how to draw them. And unless you learn how to draw them with special steps, they are terrible. <laughs> End up looking terrible. And they're really tricky to draw. So treble clefs, I call them terrible clefs. And the two names, the terrible helps you to remember that it's called treble clef. And when you get them really good, you can remember that it's called treble clef. The second one is called the bass clef and bass is a word that we've seen a lot so bass clef is an easy one to remember okay so i'm going to talk to you all about them in this video and hopefully by the end of the video you'll have a good strong understanding of what treble clef and bass clef do right so this is important what we're going to talk about now okay now we still have the staff because from now on we will always have the staff and anyone that does music will always use these beautiful five lines and they will always have those beautiful notes on them that I showed you before that we've printed out. Hopefully you've got your own sheet now with your beautiful notes on them. Hey, there they are right there. So these beautiful notes, these four notes that we've learned so far, and there will be more later, but they're the ones we've learned so far. We'll go on to these five lines from now on. Okay, this is how they will appear because this is how music is written. Now, on this page, page 25, where they discuss a little bit of theory before we continue on, we are going to have what's called the treble clef. And I call this one the terrible clef because we're going to come back and just for fun, we're going to try and draw these together. I have a special way that I've taught my students over the years how to draw them. And it makes it really, really easy. But because they're so tricky to draw and there's so many steps to learn how to draw it, I always call it the terrible clef. And then it helps students to remember, oh, it's the treble clef because it's the terrible clef. The words are very similar. Bass clef is very easy to draw. And the word bass is also very easy to remember. I've never had a problem with students remembering bass clef and terrible clef and as the lessons move forward i will explain in more detail what these two do for now just have an idea there's a cat in the middle of the piano i would need to show you this on the piano there's a cat right in the middle of the piano underneath the name of the piano underneath the the name of your keyboard that cat divides the piano in half it's not exactly in the middle, but it divides everything. From that cat, everything above that cat that work, moves towards the high notes belongs to the treble clef. And from that cat, everything that goes down to the low notes belongs to the bass clef. And that's how it works. That cat divides these two up. It's like a fence, like a line. It, it, it divides the two from that note, from that key, Treble clef goes up from that key, from that cat in the middle, bass clef goes down. It's like it splits them. This is where you're allowed to go up to. Treble clef can go up to this cat and no further. And the bass clef goes down from that cat. Okay? It will make more sense once we start playing in these positions with these clefs. And you'll see them more often, then you'll understand. Okay? But you really need to see this at the piano for it to make sense. Okay. So we really need to sit at the piano to understand how treble clef and bass clef works. Okay, what they do, what's their job. So firstly, we need a little guy that sits between them. Okay, that looks like that. And usually I would have to draw the hat, but today I'm lucky because the little hats are already there. This is the cat and we call him the cat with the hat. And everything starts with this special cat on the piano so treble clef cat with a hat bass clef cat with the hat so let's have a look at what that means on the piano now this cat with a hat on the piano look i'll move him over 
Now, in the middle of the piano, you're going to have the two black keys, cat. Okay, and this is the cat we want. There's the name of the piano right there. On your keyboards, it might be a little bit lower than the name of the keyboard, okay, because it depends on the range. So look for the cat that sounds like that, that you can sing quite comfortably. It's not too high and it's not too low. It's hard to sing. Everybody should be able to comfortably sing this cat, okay? And this cat, once we have the five lines for the right hand and the five lines for the left hand, okay, each hand gets its own lines set of lines to put the notes on cat with the hat sits in the middle and that cat with the hat is this cat on the piano okay only this cat it's not any other cat because there's lots of other cats on the piano okay we just looked at them this cat it's very important that we find the right one find the one that sounds like this on your piano and keyboard and play it now right once you find this cat all the notes on this side of the piano belong to the treble clef. So from this cat to this side of the piano, treble clef. Okay? Then, same cat, but on this side of the piano, we are now in bass. We are now in bass clef. Okay? So again, from this cat on the piano, going down that way, all those notes will belong to the bass clef. So the treble clef and the bass clef, their job starts with the cat that has a hat. And that cat with a hat sits there on the piano. Okay, so one more time. From this cat with the hat, that looks like that, okay? All the notes on this side of the piano will belong to the treble clef. This cat with a hat that sits here on the piano, all the notes that go down that way will belong to the bass cliff. And it's that simple, okay? And it starts with the cat that has a hat. So how did you go with the treble cliff and the bass cliff? Or the terrible cliff, if you like. <laughs> Wait till we start drawing them before you have any judgments on that terrible cliff. <laughs> if you're very good at drawing, you're going to love drawing treble cliffs because they're just so arty. There's so many curls to them and they just look so artistic. They're really pretty. Uh, I was terrible at drawing them when I was little because I don't have an artistic bone in my body. I'm just really bad at drawing, period. All I can do is st stick figures and even they don't look that great. So it took me a long time to work out these special steps that I teach you later on how to draw the treble clefts. But in this video, I'm hoping you have a really good understanding of their jobs because they have a job. The treble clef and the bass clef have a job to do on the piano and they actually start from a special cat in the middle of the piano and that's where one will take one side of the piano and the other will do the other side of the piano so that's their job they represent the notes on the piano okay